Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about TCS Power BI interview questions and answers. In the recent days, one of my friend attended interview with TCS. So they was asked by the below list of questions. Here I am going to talk about questions along with answers as well. And please remember the questions may vary person to person, time to time, location to location. So please be careful in answering each and every question in the Power BI. So let me go to the list of questions here. The first question he was asked is, can you please talk about your project in terms of Power BI for two minutes? It was a very common question nowadays in any technology. So they need a people in the Power BI. That is the reason why. So they asked the candidate to talk about a project in terms of Power BI for two minutes. Yes, now you need to talk about for two minutes at least. So they might be stopping you in the middle, but yes, you need to talk in terms of Power BI only. But when we go to the interview in terms of Power BI, yes, our project might be containing. So SSIS, maybe warehouse design, maybe uh, some other reporting including SSRS or maybe SSAS as well. So we might be having multiple components in our project. So they don't want to listen about that stuff. That is the reason why they specially mentioned, can you please talk about your project in terms of Power BI for two minutes? Yes. Now you need to mention. So we need to, we, we were um, importing a data from multiple uh, sources. Like if you are having Excel source or Oracle or uh, SQL, so we will be loading the data in the import mode or direct query, whatever the uh, mode you followed. And like we would be representing that business data in a, a more visualization format. So like we proposed like a something more visualizations than the client has asked. So we, we could deliver uh, as per the agreement and like we, we delivered the reports in terms of high performance, in terms of high look in terms of high flexibilities as well. So that's how you need to talk about. So and you your project might be dealing with maybe insurance, maybe banking, maybe some other domains. So that also you may need to include while you talk about your project within the two minutes. So while talking, they might stop you. But yes, you need to be very confident in answering this question. So this question and this answer might vary person to person. But be careful in answering this first question. The next question they have asked by them is, so what is your confidence level in Power BI? So here they mainly focusing interview on the Power BI, even though associate is good at MSBI and SQL. Okay. Now let's see the question here. What is your confidence level in the Power BI? 10 is the best and one is the worst. Yes, you, you need to know the Power BI in and out. So that is the reason you need to answer here around maybe eight, seven, seven or eight. So if you answer below five, then they might say you, you will be, you will be rejected a friend. So please be prepared thoroughly power BI then before answering the, before attending the interview and answering the questions. So you can say seven or eight or nine based on your confidence level. So it is up to you. So maybe person to person vary these levels like a one to 10, one is worst and 10 is the best here. The next question is what is the power BI service? Slowly they are entering into the uh, Power BI interview now. So what is the Power BI service? So here, so Power BI service is a cloud based service which will help us to publish the Power BI reports and which will help us to publish the data visualizations. So we can configure the schedule refresh if the data is uh, moved in, in terms of import. So we can configure the schedule refresh and we can create the dashboards and we can share it with multiple people. And this will help us to see or observe the business data, which will help us to publish like the developer will be developed some reports and the users business users will access those reports with the help of the Power BI service only. It is a cloud based platform. So within the world, like you can access the Power BI reports. Once it is hosted, you can access from anywhere in the world. So Power BI service is the one which will help us to host the Power BI reports, Power BI pages, Power BI visualizations. So you can access from anywhere if you have enough privileges. So let's move on to the next question. So what is a Power BI desktop now? So the Power BI desktop is 
is a desktop application which will help us to develop the power bi projects which will help us to develop the power bi pages power bi reports power bi visualizations so as a developer you need to install on your computer so it's it's a free software and which will be helpful to us to develop the power bi requirements power bi dashboards power bi reports power bi pages so once you are done with it so you can publish these reports into the power bi service which we talked about and not only developing here you can do the modeling also you can do that so when i say modeling like there are some scenarios where you cannot uh, go directly with the as is a source data so you may need to do a little modeling and you may need to establish a relationship between the tables and you may need to create some new columns you may need to create some new measures as well and you may need to use some dax related stuff also so those are all the stuff you can do in the power bi desktop on the whole power bi desktop is a desktop application which will help us to develop the power bi reports power bi pages or power bi dashboards also it will help us to shape and modeling the data source data which is coming from the data sources that is about a power bi desktop the next question is what is a summarize function in dax yes so this is a dax function actually this is also required a function it is also one of the important function in the power bi projects which will help us to summarize the data based on the set of columns let us say so you have a, a employee data where you need to summarize the data based on the department wise so that time you can you can apply a summarize operation on the top of the employee table to show the data on the top of the department wise now they ask the salary on the top of the department wise let us say technical department the total salary of the technical department non technical department admin department so if you see the employee table so employee table might be scattered like each and every employee having their respective salaries and each and every employee is tied to a department but my requirement is i want the technical department total salary technical department total salary non technical department total total salary non technical department total salary and admin department total salary so if i see the employee table i cannot get easily so if i apply a summarize function on the top of the employee table so i can easily get department wise total salary so if you want a detailed information on the summarize a function so there is a separate video in the video collection please go through that that's all about a summarize a function in the dax yes you might need to use in your project this function that is the reason they raised the question in the interview even though you have many other functions next one can i export the power bi report data into any other format like ssrs yes if you know ssrs ssrs have by default facility to export the report data into word excel pdf and csv formats and tiff formats as well but do you have a same facility in power bi exactly same facility no so we can export each and every component only let us say if your power bi page contains two visualizations one is a bar chart one is a pie chart so can i export entire page in one shot by default no you can export single component at a time into the csv format so no, as it is ssrs it is not possible in the power bi by default so that's about this question let's move on to the next question what is the difference between measure and a column so it is one of the important question so because in our projects so without having a measures or calculated columns we will not be able to deliver the requirement so that is the reason why so they have asked this question so what is a measure actually so if you clearly talk about a measure so it is having their own unique and responsibilities so it is a kind of expression stored in a model and so it will get executed when we use it only measure i am talking about a measure so measure will execute when we use it only so it does not store any data physically and it does not occupy any memory and so as i told you measure is getting executed when we use it so by by using that you may see one or two performance related issue cases as well but as yes, just keep in mind and you cannot create a duplicate measures in the entire model and it is the dynamic one 
and exactly measure is suitable only for the numerical values let me repeat on the measure measure suitable for the numerical values and it does not occupy any memory it does not store any data and it it runs at when we use it only and it is a kind of expression in the model and it is unique at the model like this is about a measure now let me go to the calculate column calculate column also looks little similar to the measure but it's having their own uniqueness and lot of differences see here the calculated column will be generated or calculated or computed from the existing columns along with existing columns we might be using some dax functions as well next so it is going to occupy the memory so along with the original columns it is going to occupy some memory and it is going to store some data as well and the column name calculate column name is unique at the table level unique at the table level not at the model level unique at the table level and so you can put text or date related columns also in the column along with the numerical values and these columns are going to store along with the model so and it's a kind of static one so that is about a differences between measure and a calculate column let me repeat measure does not occupy any space does not store any data and it will get executed when we use it but when we go to the calculate column calculate column it occupies some space it stores the data and it's a kind of static so at the time of creation itself it creates a space and it it, it stores the value as well and it is suitable for the text or date related fields as well so that is about a differences between measure and a calculate column next have you face any performance issues in your project this is one of the important question and intelligent question yes so as a as a developer in the project while developing the project you might be facing one or two performance issues based purely based on the data which you use it so there are some times where you need to work with a huge number of uh, records so that time we might be facing some if you are really working with a small data sets then you may not face it but when you are working with a huge data sets you might be facing so that time so we might need to uh, convert uh, some we might need to uh, use some dax functions to improve the performance or we may need to convert something into measures or we may need to remove unused measures we may need to remove unused uh, calculate columns from the model so it is it is project to project but please try to be confident while answering this question so don't say exactly no but you can say something like a, when you when we write something like we have faced this so so and so like we did that to avoid that kind of stuff so that's it about today's power bi entry questions so these are the, i have covered couple of questions only and please excuse me if you see any mistakes or errors in my explanation so if you have any other questions in the power bi dax or msba please write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com so this is for the explanation purpose only i just taken to share my knowledge that's it about entire questions on the power bi thank you for watching please subscribe for more technology up to date videos thank you that's it